<laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Boo These Men by none other than Promo Joe. It's been a minute since we checked out a Promo Joe vid, and um, I'm glad he's uh back to making some videos. It's been a while since he's dropped one, so I'm looking forward to this one, man. This should be a good one. Promo Joe, man, I appreciate the content that you put out with the wrestling memes, man. I, I really do appreciate it, man. I think a lot of us do. Uh, appreciate all the times you've uh, featured me in the video, man. I, it's it's pretty dope, bro. A humbling experience. So we're going to get right into this one, man. If you haven't subscribed to Promo Joe, go ahead, subscribe. Link to the original video will be down below. We'll see what Promo Joe got for us this time. It's a 17-minute vid. I'm excited. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday, just down the road, that I started my training in Calgary with Stu Hart. Ooh. You're seriously booing Stu Hart? Excuse me, Chris, I was in fact saying Stu earns. What? This is tribal combat. Now. Tribal combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i did see that sign uh botchamania v promo joe for forbidden door three let's get it yeah, on good idea book it book it Wait a minute, bro. Hold on, man. That's that's funny how he he brought it back. And Christian was in that match too as his tag partner at the time, I believe. <laughs> Where on earth is L.A. Knight? SummerSlam 2011. Wow! Aldi. <laughs> Triple H's workout DVD. Wow! <laughs> Security on WWE Raw. This is crazy! Brooklyn Nine Nine. What? Everyone Whoa. has been talking about my LA Night has been everywhere, <laughs> and I love that, bro. Future. What's next for Gable Stevenson? Really, bro? <laughs> there are moments when time stands still. There are moments when time stands still. Wow. When history unfolds. When history unfolds. No way this is real. We are bound by the magnificence of one singular event. TNA takes it to another level. Yes. When we are bound by the magnificence of one singular event. No. That's oh, my bar. Shit. No way. Bar. That's the same thing. What? How? How is that the same? It's word for word before a different game. What? Shit, that kiss me through the phone. He copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. <laughs> so humble. So kind. So now that I have the floor. Oh, she forgot a line. Is it great to be alive in vagina? Not a Saturday night. <laughs> Is it everything you hoped for? Jerry's still out. <laughs> but man, you can't deny that for you. <laughs> Representing just five guys, Dookie! 
<laughs> it's good to be back, and I've missed you. But now it's time for that bag, yo. <laughs> Raid hey, man. Legends. Get, yes. Get you, get you your bag, bro. Get, get your money, game. man. <laughs> wow, that's the chant. <laughs> Actually, sorry about that. I think they played the wrong video. Oh, yeah, they uh, did. That was Rhea's uh, little intro. That sign can't stop me. <laughs> yeah. That sign can't read. Uh, <laughs> Tony Khan's uh, new rules and all this other stuff doesn't really align with John Moxley's uh, style of wrestling, if you want to be honest, but you know, hey, I'm sure he'll probably get a pass. A nursery rhyme for you, Stone Cold, that goes like this: Mary had a little lamb. What's what you want? Piss, piss on the lamb, lamb piss, piss on Mary, Mary and piss on you. you. The rock is gonna go out there tonight and do it. Wow. And millions of the Rock's fans, exactly why the Rock is the great one. Exactly why the Rock <laughs> is the chosen That's one. Crazy. Exactly why Where did he get this footage? I mean, once again, The Rock has influenced how many wrestlers? You know what I'm saying? If you're a, a great at your craft, you're going to influence people. People are going to look up to you. Sometimes people are going to even fall, try to follow in your footsteps. You know, the, the thing that separates you know the copycats that just only want to do one thing because you know they're inspired by someone is adding your own flair to it you know what i'm saying so i mean it's wrestling and anything any sport anything you're good at people are going to want to imitate and follow in your footsteps especially if you're great at it class and distinction y'all have messy good god y'all let's y'all get up and get down by doing the funky duck man you let you down down it's us your pelvis it's us your pelvis it's us your pelvis it's us your pelvis there was a botched move oh that was crazy there was a botched move with the dangerous landing i walked away this time relatively unscathed i got some scrapes and bruises but no major tweaks or pulls but Ricochet and I were supposed to do what's called the Spanish fly off the top rope. So one of our legs is on the rope, one of our legs is on the ladder, and we were supposed to hit it at the same mm -hmm. time. And when he hit that rope, it was before me, so he moved it, so I slipped down all the way to the bottom. Keep in mind, I'm a noob. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing out there, so when stuff goes wrong, I don't really know how to improv. So in my head, I'm like, how is this guy? This is fucked. We fucked this up. Yeah. How is this guy going to do this? Is he even going to do this? Oh, he was. Our legs are all twisted like this. I'm looking at him. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker is still trying to send this shit. I'm not <laughs> even ready. His feet are even planted off the second rope. Just hucks a backflip. I'm like, all right. Oh, my Went God. crashing through the table, scraped my shoulder, hit my head on the thing. I'm fine. No concussions or anything, but it's Jesus, just a wild sport. Bro. I don't know what I'm doing. Keep in mind, I'm a noob. <laughs> I don't even know. Really know what I'm doing out there. Hey, for someone that don't know what he's doing out there, he he still be somehow putting on some pretty interesting matches. If he breaks his neck, it's all good. We can still have him doing promos. And guess what? My dreams don't end until I got a WWE Championship gold around my belt. Gold, First off, gold around my belt. <laughs> it's a championship title. And secondly, uh, are you just mm -hmm. going to be wearing two belts? And hell, Grayson Dolan, I might not even cash it in. God damn it, Logan. Who in the <laughs> devil is Grayson Dolan? For the love of God, this isn't YouTube. What's up, guys? We're back. We're... Hey! Shut up, I'm talking! <laughs> Who is Grayson Dolan? <laughs> Who's 
there for you when you are sad and dead. By his idiot friends. friends. Who picks you up and smacks you all around. By his idiot friends. Put thorns in you so you can save the town. Idiot friends, idiot friends. By idiot his idiot friends. Idiot friends. <laughs> <laughs> like the reference there. from Tycho. I have a whole dissertation on my theory about blood in modern wrestling. Do we have time for that? College wrestling is a combat sport too. But it's funny. This is the audio is from the Jim Cornette podcast when they were reading uh, John Moxley's uh, Sports Illustrated interview. <laughs> and Brian Laz always talks like this when <laughs> when they're referring to John Moxley. This shit's actually quite hilarious. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> they have blood timeouts to patch it up. The lowest prelim bout of a UFC card or a boxing card. Somebody might have a little blood on their eyebrow. I was blood wondering. A prelim bout of college. I was wondering, because I did watch this match. I was wondering, because John, I believe John was the first person to truly bleed. I, I was trying to figure out like, what spot did he actually bleed on. Because I, I it, it happened so quick. Because I was trying to figure out what damage he took that caused him to bleed. And then next thing I know, he's, his face is just a crimson mass. Wrestling is a combat sport too. They have blood timeouts to patch it up. Look at him. <laughs> the lowest prelim bout of a UFC card or a boxing card. Somebody might have a little blood on their eyebrow or blood coming out of their nose, but they're not selling a blood sport. It's true. Oh Tune my in for God. the blood. Tune in for the gore. <laughs> it's part of the aesthetic. It adds realism. For Samoa Joe, the same can be said for ROH history. I love that move. Love it. Years later. This is quickness. Get out of the way of those chops. The massive hands. <laughs> and brawl. But now Punk's second rope. Top rope. Nobody helps. And he does it every time. You ain't learn. Just do it, bro. Just do it. <laughs> bro, he was just sitting bro, up there. Level My level of grizzledness on a scale of one to ten, seventeen. Oh, mm, yikes, that's Dude. pretty grizzled. Do you remember? Do you know how many times I've wrestled the Bears? Hey, you mean like a grizzly bear or the, the football team? No, black <laughs> bears. Okay, black what? bears. Yeah, well, that, well over here by Clark Kent. brown bears. Okay. Oh. No, I don't know. I'm yeah, you didn't know of my history of wrestling bears? No, I did not. It's well known in the wrestling industry. Oh, I've, I've actually shocked. heard that. I've heard I'm that. I'm shocked that you haven't researched it, Tony. Huh? I, you see, that <laughs> man confused Antonio Cesaro. But that would never work on a bear. You're really obsessed with discussing <laughs> against bears. Listen, I've competed against bears. I beat bears, okay? I'm a big believer that if it doesn't work on a bear, you don't do it in the ring. Can we move on from, from the bear discussion? <laughs> We might. I love the continuity with Brian. <laughs> I love the 
continuity, man. That's why he's so great. <laughs> really wants to work that stomach. He should put him in a bear hug. Covering a kick out there by our truth We learn a lot about superstars in WWE here on Saturday Morning Slam. We've learned this morning that Daniel Bryan has an obsession with bears. I love bears. All sorts of bears. Black bears, polar bears, koala bears, brown bears, grizzly bears. There's also a kind of brown bear. Panda bears, teddy bears, everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the end of the match. Holy cow, he has him in the barrel. I can no longer bear this is fence. I can't. <laughs> he barely got out of that. He barely. <laughs> Cesaro barely hanging on. Barely hanging on. Teetering. This is unbearable. Oh my god. <laughs> Was a thing. Kenny and me found the brown noise. Here, look, look, look. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, Kenny? Woo! Seriously, you guys, come on, watch. Okay. Whoa! Oh my God! <laughs> That damn walk, bro. <laughs> the fucking walk. <laughs> Bart was feeling mighty blue. It's a shame what school can do. For no reason here. Sabu! <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> None whatsoever. Gotta get into the botches. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. That was supposed to happen. Slip on the ropes. Slip, 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 slip. They tried to recover it as much as they possibly could. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, man, that, that rope slip, ropes be slippery sometimes. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Uh, no contact. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> in the up, I did see that. <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, that was a bad botch there. Yo, listen up. I got a tale to spin about a legend in the ring. His name is Sting. He's the man with that face paint standing tall and able. When he steps in the arena, he becomes the table. Yeah, Sting, the yeah. wrestling icon of Mike. He strikes with the force like a thunderous night. His moves are smooth like a symphony's fable. When he slams <laughs> them down, it's like crashing on a day table. Day table. I, I like how he did that. <laughs> That was cool, man. That was dope. Oh, man. Shout out to the patrons for direct. This was great. This was great. Fantastic. Love what he did with the I'm the table thing. That was pretty cool. Even though Sting, I end up thinking he ended up losing his tooth or something like that on that spot. It was very, uh, very dangerous spot, man. But hey, once again, that's what these wrestlers sign up for. Um, when it comes to, you know, entertaining us fans, man. But this was a great one. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of this promo Joe video. Glad that he's back. Looking forward to some more promo Joe vids, man. More videos on the way. 
on the channel man so be on the lookout for that but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still getting the speed of youtube wrestling chef of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see you on the next one peace